Before we dive into today's episode, I want to take a moment to give a big thank you to my friend Troy Hoffman from Restore Physical Therapy in Marlton, New Jersey. Troy and I had an incredible conversation yesterday during my rehab for my hip replacement, and it really got me thinking about the importance of building healthy habits and having the right connections in life. This podcast episode is a reflection of that chat. It was born from the insights we shared. If you're in need of a physical therapist who is thoughtful, insightful, and truly dedicated to helping you achieve your goals, I cannot recommend Troy and his team at Restore Physical Therapy enough. They're amazing at what they do. Visit them at restore-rehab.com to learn more about their services and how they can help you. Now, let's get into today's episode. Welcome back to the Living Strong Adventures podcast where we rise, thrive, and live strong no matter what life throws our way. I'm Peter Lasiaga, and today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind as I navigate my recovery from hip replacement surgery. It's about the power of healthy habits and the importance of having the right connections in your life, especially professionals who can guide you when challenges arise. You see, life is full of tests, physical, emotional, and mental, and it's not willpower alone that helps us push through. It's the habits and routines we've built over time. And just as important, having the right people in your corner who can give you expert advice when you need it most. So let's dive in. I want to start with a story. It's about my mom. Years ago, she needed a hip replacement. She'd spent much of her life inactive and without the kind of healthy habits that could have prepared her for the challenge of surgery and recovery. The result? She never fully bounced back. In fact, her quality of life diminished after her surgery. And that's something that stuck with me ever since. Now, I contrast that with my own experience. I've spent years as a martial artist, building daily habits of movement, mindfulness, and nutrition. Not because I knew I'd face hip replacements, but because I believed in living strong. And let me tell you, those habits have been my safety net. They've given me a foundation to recover and thrive, even during the most challenging physical experience of my life. So here's the takeaway. The time to build healthy habits is before you face a challenge, not after. It's about laying the foundation and the groundwork now so you're ready for whatever life throws your way. But habits aren't enough on their own. Let's talk about the role of connection, specifically connection to professionals. Too many of us rely on advice from friends, family, or the internet when life gets tough. Don't get me wrong, these sources mean well, but they don't always have the expertise to guide us. That's why building relationships with trusted professionals is so critical. For me, having Troy, my physical therapist at Restore Physical Therapy, and my medical team was invaluable as I prepared for the recovery of my hip surgeries. They helped me create a plan of action, and their guidance gave me the confidence to execute that plan. Their expertise made all the difference, and it's something I want all of you to consider. Who are the professionals in your life that you can turn to when you need help? If you don't have those connections yet, now is the time to start building them. At the heart of this conversation is my living strong philosophy. It's about more than just staying active or eating well. It's about creating a life of resilience, of purpose, and connection. Here are the pillars I want you to think about. 
First, build strong habits. Start small, maybe a 10 minute walk, a glass of water with every meal, or just simply a practice of gratitude. What matters is consistency, not perfection. Second, seek professional guidance. Identify the experts you need in your life, whether it's a physical therapist, a coach, or a doctor. Don't wait for a crisis to build those relationships. Third, create a support system. Surround yourself with people who inspire and challenge you to be better. Finally, be proactive. Don't wait for life to force you into action. Start living strong today, now. Living strong means taking ownership of your habits, your health, and your connections. It's about showing up every day, even when it's hard. As I wrap up today's episode, I want to leave you with this. Life's challenges are inevitable, but how we prepare for them is entirely up to us. Start small, build healthy habits, surround yourself with people who lift you up and seek the guidance of professionals who know their craft. Living strong isn't just about surviving tough times, it's about thriving in the life you've built for yourself. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this episode valuable, share it with someone who needs to hear it. Let's keep building a community that rises, thrives, and lives strong together. Until next time, this is Peter Lisiaga reminding you to live strong and take care of yourself. I'll see you on the next adventure.